contraption needed, right? It stands on its own.
and gentlemen, good evening, greetings from Charleston, West Virginia. If you look to your left is the uh, Capitol Dome here in Charleston. Alright, the temperature is 60 degrees. Continuing our journey to Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Probably somewhere around 600 miles or so. Oh, I'm braving it today. I don't have my I don't have my GPS running. I thought I'd be I thought I'd be brave but not run a GPS. Ha ha ha. I know, right? We've only been through here. I don't know, 500 times, maybe more? Who knows? Anyway, it's a beautiful evening. I thought I'd share it with you. Oh, there was somebody out there that wanted a happy birthday greetings and uh, now I forgot what the name was. Something Robert, I think it was. Sorry. Anyway, happy birthday. Everybody, John and Bigot here. Good evening, greetings. Actually, it's still good afternoon. Believe it or not, the local time here is uh, 5.01. We are located about three miles, five miles to uh, Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. As you can see, it's a beautiful evening here. The temperature is 55 degrees. Our scheduled delivery date and time is 4 a.m. tomorrow. But I'm gonna try to see if they will not take it early. And then, after delivery, I uh, I got a load in De Pere, Wisconsin. And picking up at WEL, Well Companies, delivering to Texas. But before I go to Texas, once I get loaded, I go down to Chilton, Wisconsin, and pick up one uh, brand new steer tire because the steer tire on the passenger side is it's just gone it, it's gone man it's it's gone so that <laughs> what more I can say right so yeah we gotta go pick up a steer tire and then uh, go to Texas I don't know if Probably be a load of cheese. Who knows? We'll figure it out tomorrow. All right, what lane do we need to be here? Uh, this one. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Larry. I mean, I don't know if you guys are keeping up with him or... I don't know if he's told you anything about what he's doing. And I'm not exactly sure if I'm at liberty to say or not, but I'll risk it. <laughs> I'll risk it. Okay, so the boss went on a one-month vacation. 
and I couldn't believe it. I just could not believe it. He left Long Hallway in charge. <laughs> oh boy. There goes the company, man, I tell you. So yesterday I got a truck wash, right? I said, Larry, I got a truck wash. I need a com check for $500. I'll split it with you. He started laughing. But that's not what I'm really uh, excited about. I am just so fascinated of what's happening to uh, Larry. As I said, I don't know if he's divulged this to you guys or not, but he hasn't told me not to say anything or say anything, so whatever happens, it's his fault. <laughs> so the latest news is that the township that where he lives is trying to develop a trailer park right behind his house. And he said, I did not come to the UP where it's peaceful and quiet just to live next to a trailer uh, park. So he gathered all the neighbors, got them all riled up, and then uh, they formed a, uh, a committee, a township uh, meeting opposing the proposal and they made him committee leader <laughs> oh can you imagine mayor long haul Larry <laughs> I don't know man this is why this country is so great <laughs> you're a truck driver one day and next thing you know you're into politics I, mean, I don't know man Anyway, that's about it, so this is as far as I could take you. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Peace.